Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there? <coughs> I know I'm probably uh, kind of late on getting on here. It's uh six seventeen. I was on my computer. I was looking up something. I was doing something. So that's why I'm kind of late. Uh, I, I hope everybody out there uh is staying hydrated or stay inside. It, uh, if they don't have to go outside because it's too hot. I don't know what the weather is. It's not showing up on my laptop, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty hot outside. I'm pretty sure it's probably about in the hundreds. Uh, so, uh, how's everybody uh, doing and how's everybody weekend been? Uh, I want to discuss some things on how difficult or how prestigious do y'all think it'll be getting in, uh, getting married? I mean, do you think getting married at a young age is difficult? Or do you think getting married at a young age is prestigious? Meaning that I, my, my, my thing of being prestigious is do you feel that uh, getting married will be for the long, for the long haul? Because I, I know some people you know, I, I, I would like to be married for like over 30 years. But you know, some people don't get married for 30 years. Some people get married for 72 hours. I mean, look at Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian. She she got married one time and it was just for 72 hours. And then I don't know how long she was married to Kanye West. But she was married, you know. But I, did, I, I see a more elder people get married. And they stay married for a long haul. They stay married for a long time. I, that's the kind of marriage I would not have. But, you know, some people don't really get married like that no more. Um, that's why I was saying, is it best to just get married or is it best to just be in a relationship? Because I think, I, I think the idea of being married is it's the American dream. You got the white dress, the tuxedo. That's what, that's what everybody the dream of as a, uh, as they young, when you're young and you're little, you have the uh, you young girl, you have the American dream, and the American dream is that you want to be getting married in a white dress, a long white dress with a church full of family members and friends, and then your husband wearing your husband wear a tuxedo. So that's that's I think that's the American dream that everybody look up to and everybody look in but with then when it come to gay people i just think gay people don't get married like that they just get married in two uh so which i think is cute i don't know i think sometimes gay uh people stay married then longer than heterosexual people i think I want to say it because in marriage is is sacred with them, but because uh like for instance, if you go on uh Terrell and Jarvis, you would see that they they've been married for a long time. They married, they got two kids, and they've been together for a long time. They own their own business, you know. I'm not gonna say own their own business. I'm gonna say they own a brand on their own brand. They do a lot of traveling. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not it's not no ups and downs, no no feuds, no disagreements, and no fights, but that's what you do to stay together and that's what you do to work together. But I don't think some people realize that sometimes I think people just get in marriage just to get in marriage. It's like uh you have arranged marriage. Some people just uh uh over overseas over there in uh what is that uh about the muslims and stuff they have arranged marriages and then you have people that just come over here just to get married to america get married to an american just so they can come up over here and stay because they don't want to be over there they like to over there like making African or somewhere like that. So, yeah. Um, but at the same token, 
I think it's wrong. I don't think I don't think it's right. I, I do think you should be able to be get married to whoever you whoever you want to marry. I do think that. But I think about arranged marriage. When I think about arranged marriage, I think about will you even be happy? I'm put to you like that. Because I'm start, I'm I'm, st- I'm starting to choose my words and go about my words the right way and not the wrong way. So that's what I'm starting about. Uh, would you even be happy? Would you even be satisfied of who you want to be with or who you claim to be with? And another thing, when you enter in a marriage, sacred, you know, because a marriage is sacred with God. When you enter in that type of marriage, your family, you have to worry about your family. Which I think the family should have nothing to do with your marriage. I think if they accept your marriage, they're fine. If they don't accept it, they're still fine. But I think um, marriage is just marriage. You know, I think parents, siblings, everybody should be respectful towards your marriage because not now, you're you you no longer that little girl anymore. You that grown woman or that grown man into that stepped into grown woman or grown man hood to be a wife or to be a husband. Do what you got to do for your husband or do what you got to do for your wife. You know, that's what it's about. You know, but I, people don't people don't understand that, you know. And that's why I say it's it's a lot of divorces. It it be a lot of divorces in the United States, you know. And then another thing, I came to realize, why is it that if you feel like your wife not satisfying you, why did you marry her? Or if you feel like your wife not satisfying you, or your husband not satisfying you, why you still be with him? I mean, because I feel like, why would you go out there and cheat on them? Because that don't that don't help the situation. That's not gonna help the situation. That just gonna make her angry or that's gonna make you angry. And then after all the cheating and stuff go on in y'all marriage, you you may get on the internet and you may grab her or you may or she may decide that or she don't wanna be with you no more. Or you may decide that you don't wanna be with her no more. And um she go on with her life or you go on with your life. And you see her out and about with somebody, and the first thing you uh you do is you stop doing what you're doing. Like you may be in a business meeting, you stop your business meeting for five minutes to go over there and see what you're doing. And I be like, well, why are you doing that? Because y'all not together anymore. You understand what I'm saying? You that's not your woman no more, and that's not your man no more. I don't think that you know. Y'all, if y'all had been, y'all having common good with children. And I think that sometimes when you get married or you get divorced, the children um, don't coexist. The children hurt the most because of simple fact the bickering, the argument that you got to go through, and the divorces, the divorce settlement that you got to go through because of the parents. Because the parents don't do right, or the parents don't want to do right. Or uh, the, the the woman get hurt so bad that she tried to, to do everything to the man. Or the man get hurt so bad that he tried to do everything to the woman. Or the woman get hurt so bad that, you know, it's like the man is um angry and he try to um get back at her because she don't want him no more. And I don't think I don't think that's right. I don't think that's I mean crazy. And you would think being grown is more important. And then you go, you cheat on your wife or you cheat on your husband and you come up pregnant by your mistress or your piece or your side or your side piece. You know what I'm saying? And you don't tell her, your mama tell her. And that's why I sit there and say that your mama don't need to be in your marriage. 
yeah, y'all had a good marriage. You know, yeah, everything with y'all was good. But at the end of the day, it should have been just me and you in this marriage. Not me, you, your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. Just me and you in this marriage. My mama not in a little interfering in our marriage, our marriage. So why? Why is you? So, you know, when it comes to people doing stuff like that, I often think to myself, I don't understand. And then I also think to myself, you know me, I always wanted to be married. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be married to my dude while down on uh, the aisle of a church and be married. You know, but as, when I was coming up and coming out being gay, I thought gay people couldn't get married. But when I seen on television and on YouTube, it, it was a lot of gay people were getting married. And I was just like, that's the life I want. But at the end of the day, I don't want that life. If, now listen, if it's going to cause me and my significant other or my partner to be broken up within three to six months, I like I want I want a long distance not a long distance I want a long term relationship I want my relationship to be uh I don't want it to be no two years I don't want it to be no three years I want it to be longer than it than that I want it to be maybe uh ten or fifteen years or thirty years and up you understand what I'm saying because that's the kind of marriage I want um different people want different marriages different things but I want my marriage to be within love you know what I'm saying you got some gay people out there they love one another and they just not getting married and they uh they getting they getting they uh getting married for love not for and so yeah I, I I don't think people get married for the right reason I think people get married for the wrong reason so you know I just want people to realize that do what's right and do what's wrong. If you if you in love, get married because you in love. Don't get married because just to be getting married. Don't be getting married because this dude got money. Don't get married just because you see that by you marrying this dude that it can benefit yourself. But that's all I really want. I'll be back from here at nine o'clock. I'm I'm updating y'all. I'm catching up now. You know, my time is coming back. Uh, and like I said, if you have any Q and A questions you want to ask me, you're more than welcome to ask me. Uh, I'll uh, see y'all at nine o'clock. And remember to stay prayed up, and don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hit that like bell, and share this video for to your family and your friends, and just stay prayed up with God and have faith.